Hi guys, this is FFAN16 and welcome to a special episode for Final Fantasy XV, a look back in the year here of 2017 and everything that has been brought to this game, so let's get started. Okay guys, just a quick little spoiler warning here, just because we will be discussing all content in the last year here for Final Fantasy XV and there may be some storylines that come out in this discussion. What a year it's been for Final Fantasy XV, with its initial release on November 29th, 2016, and a season pass that was purchasable at that time as well. It has now almost come to a close here in December of 2017 with the release of Episode Ignis. So let's look back on this year and see what had all gone on with XV. It has been a very exciting year. The Season Pass brought us Episode Gladiolus, Episode Prompto, Episode Ignis, and the Comrades MMO, which at first we really didn't know what Comrades was going to be about, but it was really great that it concentrated on that 10 year um, cycle in the world of darkness was starting to engulf Eos, so that was a really good DLC and I'm still playing it. I have not really gotten the time to finish it, but uh, I'm grinding at it. So not only was there this paid content for Final Fantasy XV, Tabata also brought us a lot of free content in about 20 different versions to this game that have been released in the last year. Updates such as various bug fixes, new cutscenes, most of which have come from Kingsglaive. We've got better control, easier mechanics. They've really tightened up a lot of 15 here in the last year. We've seen releases of new gear, new weapons, and all this has been for free. The new game plus mode, which came in version 1.03, really gave that player the ability to go back in and not have to start from scratch. You've got your money, you've got your gear. Yeah, you'll have to do your um, your hunts again, but really everything else followed and it was really good to be able to get back into the game with because money was hard. Money was hard to get in this game the first playthrough, so you were really handicapped. Another couple free things that came down the pipeline for 15 was the Moogle Chocobo Carnival and the Assassin's Creed Carnival. So what we saw here with the Moogle Chocobo Carnival, it was a great event just to celebrate this game and it was kind of free. It came with a patch update so you just dive in and you go do a couple little extra games and you would get recipes and they would all transfer to the main game and that's really great because now it had some interaction with that main game. What you did there can impact at least a little bit of the essence of the main game and they really knew how to do this well. We also saw the introduction of a collaboration between Final Fantasy XV and Assassin's Creed, which is the Assassin's Festival in Lestalem. This is currently still going on until January, and you can dive right into the game and partake of this festival. Again, recipes and even the Assassin's outfits can make their way into the main game. It's a cool, neat little DLC, and I do suggest you pop on in, get that nice Assassin's Creed outfit out of it. So in the past year here with Final Fantasy XV, the game has grown. It's grown a lot. We've got, again, more story content, and it basically, from that base element that I played back when it was first released to what it is today, it's almost like an entirely new game. It's like my sister's going to be getting this from my uncle for Christmas, and she's going to be able to have everything packaged up and ready to go, of course, after downloading all this content, but she gets to experience this this game one year in the future here with all these great updates the updates that we had to wait for and, and truthfully I'm kind of glad I played this game when it first came out because I got that raw version yes there were things left out yes I wish it had a little bit more at the time but the core essence of this game was beautiful and I did enjoy playing it and I still do so I'm very happy that I had experience those updates as they were coming out in this year and it's just gonna look into 2018 with even more joy that Tabata has now decided that he's gonna support this game into the next year with another season pass and the season pass is gonna include three more episode downloads and the first one very excited that he has announced is episode Arden. 
So more and more DLC story content coming down and Tabada in an interview had mentioned that they're going to focus on one DLC at a time. So hopefully we don't see what we saw with episode Gladiolus being the weakest out of the three and Prompto and Ignis bringing a lot more storyline and truthfully a little bit more funner combat. Poor Gladiolus. His DLC being first in that kick at the cat there, he just got the short end of the stick. It is a good DLC to play, but if you're going to dive into any with good story content to the main game, Prompto's and Ignis's is where it really is at. You can almost miss episode Gladiolus for story content. You just kind of learn what happened to him when he leaves the party. But it has no real answering of questions except for we learn a little bit more about Kor and his background with Nox's father and all that jazz. So, although you got the season pass, if you do, play all three. They're free. Get them. Download them. Might as well. You paid for the season pass. So, in my opinion, was the season pass worth it? That is a good question. I believe so. I actually believe it was well worth it. The episode contents got a lot better. There was more content with them. Each DLC would have been, of course, more money than purchasing the season pass. But also the season pass brought early access to comrades. So we got to try out the beta. We got to put in our opinions on how it was working. And then finally we got that for free as well with that season pass. We also got the holiday plus update enhancement for free. And that just again, just added more content and extra features for having that pay that season pass premium. So looking into 2018, I do hope that the second season pass comes out soon as I, again, Square just take my money. You, you've you announced episode Arden. As soon as I heard that, I'm like, just take my money. Take it now. But how much is this again? Like, give me that episode Arden. And if they would announce anything like Luna Freya, Gian Diana, uh, Aranea, any one of those, even um, Ravis. Ravis's DLC would be great. Again, Episode Ignis brought us so much good content. They really left the season pass here on a high. And they really got to build on it for 2018. It's just making this story fleshed out. It's making it more full. I would really like to learn a bit more about the Lucii how their power and is so overwhelming and how the does the crystal have something to do with the Lucii? is that why they're still around what brings this family to this much power so more of that and more of this fleshing out of the story in 2018 would be great expect more free download version contents patch updates everything guys they're they're really not going to stop and i don't see them in 2018 or maybe even 2019 stop supporting this game as long as there are people wanting to play it so look forward to a bright future at least next year for final fantasy 15 it has been a great 2017 it started off a bit slow but once those episodes were rolling we finally at the later part of the year here got comrades the universe has expanded with their VR content such as Final Fantasy 15 Monster of the Deep. I have purchased it, I am playing it, and I gotta tell you, it was worth purchasing my VR for that. I, although there, <laughs> there's all some glitching that is quite hilarious in it because my arms would be where my head would be and if the, my arms float away from my body it looks like I've got bad frostbite all over my arms and par paralysis. So. Although there is some tweaking, I'm sure there's going to be updates to help enhance gameplay with that as well. We also have Final Fantasy XV Pocket Edition coming really soon here, guys. It was supposed to be out already, but it got delayed. I think they want to tweak it a bit more. Just think they're taking that whole Final Fantasy XV structure and putting it down to mobile. So trust me, guys. Give them a little bit of time. It will be worth it. So... My uh, analysis of 2017 was slow start to the year, but once they got started, it made 15 a lot more in depth and has a lot more meat on it. So let's just pile this on square. Let's make 2018 
even more juicy for 15 here let's keep the players playing so pick this up guys it's just gonna get better in the next year for 2017 so there you guys go that was my quick discussion my thoughts my feelings um just a wrap up of Final Fantasy 15 here in the last year. How do you guys think? How are you enjoying 15? Has it become a, a greater game to you? Was it great to begin with? I'd love to hear from you guys. So please leave me a comment. Are you going to be purchasing the second season pass here that's coming out? Are you excited for the new episodes? You know what I mean. Arden or <laughs> any of the other episodes I, I would like some of the girls to be a little bit more fleshed out uh, maybe we'll get a new playable character in the future I know that's a good rumor so let leave me your wishes below leave me what you loved in the past year here with Final Fantasy 15 I look forward to sharing more of this content with you on my channel in the year to come and 15 will definitely be one of my staples on this channel so thank you so much for coming by thank you for watching my videos please subscribe to the channel if you want if you haven't already for more upcoming videos you can find me at Twitter at FFAN underscore 16 put a like below guys if you like my content and as always Happy gaming.